Now, although optional, the Arctic Cloak 1 can save a lot of time. So if you don't have this, choose another method that grants you access to the Tree Spirits quickly, since you're going to be heading to the Grand Tree several times, so it'll be optimal to have a quick route. To begin the quest, speak to King Shiran in the Grand Tree. Accept the quest and you'll receive a Gnome Royal Seal. Right click the ladder right beside you and head to the top. Talk to the Gnome Glider and choose the fifth option to head to Karamja. Keep running north along the shore till you hit a shipyard. Attempt to open the door. This conversation will take a while, but once you've shown him the royal seal, head through the gate. Head directly south and you'll find a gnome called GLO. Speak to him. Once you've spoken to him, head back to the king. Once you've spoken to the king, you'll receive some orders. Climb up the stairs once, and you're gonna find an NPC on the right side called Dario. Go ahead and speak to him, chat options on screen. It is a lengthy conversation. Once you've gone through the conversation, you'll be at a new area. Go ahead and speak to Dario. Then speak to Waitar and choose the fourth chat option. Now you're going to have a puzzle to do. You have two options. You could either 1. Pay 200k to have it solved by speaking to Glow back at the Gnome Stronghold, as shown on screen. Or if you prefer to do it yourself, head south and click on the console. Now if you're going to solve this puzzle by yourself, I need to point something out. You're going to notice as I flicker this on and off, you're going to notice the third and the fifth one. They look very alike, so do not confuse them. Now what you want here is the one that's flat, let me actually just zoom in here. The one with the flat bottom needs to be on the third row. And the last one here has to be flat, then go down slightly. Once you've solved the puzzle, there will be a cutscene. After the mentioned cutscene, go ahead and speak to Dario. Then speak to Waydar to be flown to Crash Island. You'll find a new NPC there called Lomdo, but he won't comply. So go ahead and speak to Waydar, who will convince Lomdo to take orders. Chat option number four. Now you're going to find yourself in a batol. 
go ahead and run northwest until you see a bamboo gate. I highly recommend having protection from range on to minimize the damage. Eventually you will succumb to all the arrows and you'll find yourself in a jail cell. Now you have to get out of the jail and you'll notice the big gorilla is pacing around and ha clearly has a pattern. Go ahead as shown on screen here and pick lock the door once he's at a certain range. Then just rush out north. Next you'll have to talk to a gnome on the east side of a patrol. Unfortunately there's no safe way so you'll just have to have protection from range on and just gun it to the side as shown on screen. Once you've found him, speak to him. Now before we move to the next step, I want you to watch exactly as I do as I enter the U-shaped building to the west. Now there's an NPC there and make sure he doesn't see you or else he will summon guards to come and you'll be thrown back into the jail cell. Also you'll notice a discoloration on the floor. Stay on the dark side in order to avoid detection. Go ahead and search the crate that is the closest to the trapdoor in the center while avoiding detection. And you'll find monkey dentures. Then go ahead and search the southern east most crate. But first make sure you're at high health as you might take up to 2.5k damage. Choose the first chat option. Once you're in the basement, go ahead and search the exact crate that I search. And you'll obtain a monkey speak amulet mold. Go ahead and climb the rope right beside where you fell and prepare to run like hell to the gnome on the east side of Apatol once again. Once you've spoken to him, head south past the graveyard and climb a ladder. Then jump off the ledge. Once you're back at the starting point of Apatol, head west until you see a dungeon sign on your minimap and climb down. I recommend that you have protection from melee on the whole time until you reach the end of this maze. The maze itself, really, I wouldn't even call it a maze, more like a long path, is lengthy, but as long as you have your prayer and eating a bit of food, you might use one pair potion at most. Go ahead and pause the video if you wish, if you want to keep the map up, and I'll see you when we get to the end. At the end of the tunnel, you're going to find an NPC called Zooknock, who I'm just going to call Zook from now on. Go ahead and use your monkey dentures, gold bar, and the monkey speak amulet mold on him. And you will receive an enhanced bar. For the sake of being on the safe side, go ahead and carefully right click your monkey bones and use it on him 